Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rex here with Carbon Plus. We've got a pretty cool range hood project going on in the background here, which we're doing a video on. Um, but part of that project are these large chunky corbels. And we made these out of poplar uh, pretty early on in the design process. Uh, I did some shopping around and couldn't find quite what I was looking for and the size that I was looking for. So decided we were gonna have to make our own. So then I started with a template just a cardboard cutout. Um, this is where things get real technical. We got this radius here, it's a paint can lid, one gallon. Radius down here at the bottom is a one quart can lid. And a couple little step details just to give it a little something extra. And then the other radiuses are a five gallon bucket lid. So um, just kind of started playing around, came up with that. From there, we transferred that to our individual pieces, cut those out with a jigsaw, and then we cleaned up two pieces um, with the sander and got them dialed in just right, and those went in the middle, essentially putting our template in the center of our laminated uh, corbels here. At that point, we could use that template on our router with the ball bearing bit and uh, wrap the rest of them flush in two separate passes, obviously. I didn't have, or nor could I find, the router bit long enough to do a template on the outside and then clean up the whole thing all at once. So that's uh, the little method I came up with to do, to work with what I had uh, by putting the template in the middle. So it all worked out pretty well. I'm uh, pretty happy with how they came out. Um, and I've got some uh, time-lapse footage and some various footage of the process that I'll share with you now. Okay, we'll start off here by tracing our pattern onto our boards. Next up, we'll rough cut all of our pieces with a jigsaw. Now that we've got all of our pieces rough cut, we'll take two of the pieces, clean them up real good. Here we're using the spindle sander to get a large part of it completed. And we'll continue sanding, get those details cleaned up real nice. Before we do our glue up, we'll run all the pieces through the drum sander just to clean them up. All right, so we're just about ready to glue up these corbels. Uh, before I do, I thought I'd give a quick explanation of what my plan is here. I've never done this, so we'll see how it works out. So I've got 10 pieces here. Eight of them have just been rough cut. Two of them have been sanded, uh, cleaned up the edge here um, to make a nice pattern. So my plan here is to take five and five. So we'll take two, two here, sandwich them around that one that's been cleaned up. So we're basically we're putting our template in the middle. And we'll glue these up. And then we'll use a flush cutting bit at the router table to follow along this side and cut this half and then another one to cut this half. I couldn't find a router bit uh, to cut the whole thing all at once to just do a template, you know, make one template attached to the side. So this is something I came up with to put our template basically in the middle and uh, go from there. So uh, we'll see how that works out. We're using a little roller to get our glue applied. 
stacking our pieces up and applying clamps. Next step in the process is to flush cut the rough cut pieces to the centerpiece. You can see we're using that centerpiece as a template, that ball bearing of the bit right along it. And here we have the pieces fresh off the router table. Now you can see after some sanding, and uh, another shot of some sand in there. So that was our process. I uh, hope you found it useful and thank you for watching.